The default WYSIWYG editor within Joomla is very limiting and not as easy to use as others available online. For this reason, we suggest you download the JCE Joomla WYSIWYG editor. You can do this by going to joomlacontenteditor.net and going to their downloads page. From here, click on the editor item. Here you can go ahead and download the three packages for installation of the JCE editor. There is also an installation manual link on the downloads page where there's written and video instructions on how to install the editor. Once you've installed the editor, this is what it will look like within a new Joomla article editor. And this is the insert edit image button. Clicking the Insert Edit Image button will open the Image Manager. Here, in the bottom left hand section, we can see a file structure. Structuring your files into different folders is important for organization and storage of images, especially if there are multiple people maintaining your website. You can click the Insert a New Folder icon to insert a new folder. We're going to be putting our images in the Example folder, so we'll select that by clicking on it. Once selected, press the Upload button next to the Insert a Folder button. This opens the Upload window. Here you need to press Add and locate the file you want to upload from your computer. Once added to the queue, you then click Upload. If you're only uploading one image, you can then click out of the Upload window. Back in the Image Manager, we now see our image has been added to the Example folder. Click on your file to start the insert process. You'll notice once we've clicked on the image, some property fields at the top have been auto-filled. It's important not to change the dimensions within the Image Manager, as all image dimensions that need to be changed should be done so in an image editor like Photoshop. You can change the alignment of the image to something different. We'll choose Middle. You can also give your image a margin. We want a 5 pixel margin around our image. So we'll have equal values checked and type 5 into the margin field. That then fills in the rest of the margin fields. There is also an option to have a border around your image. Please note that as we make each change, the preview image on the right hand side is also changing in order to display what our image is going to look like. The rollover section allows you to add a different image for when the mouse rolls over the image. The advanced section is more technical and most areas won't need to be changed, but it's important to note that the style field shows you a CSS version of what changes you've made to your image. There's also the ability to create classes, image IDs, language and mapping options. Once happy with the way your image has been formatted, click Insert at the bottom of the Image Manager window to insert the image into your WYSIWYG.